Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bick, the first lady of the organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. We have a very special program for you today. The American Boy Choir is going to be singing for you, one of the leading choirs in America. And they're going to be singing sacred music, sacred classics, and some great patriotic numbers. You know, Christianity is a singing faith. The Bible tells us that those who put their faith in Christ have a song. It says, the Lord has given us a new song in our hearts if we know him, and we are called upon to sing and express that faith in song. We'd like for you to join us today as the American Boy Choir expresses our faith. And so, I'm going to join the choir now in performing Franz Schubert's The Lord is My Shepherd.
on the joy of music, we love to express our joy in knowing Christ and knowing God in a very personal way. Before we hear the American Boy Choir again, I would like to play for you a composition of my own called Joy, which is written on the Bible text, At the right hand of God there are joys forevermore. Notice, won't you, as the hands go from keyboard to keyboard and the feet actually dance on the pedals, expressing joy.
It's a real pleasure for me today to be able to introduce to you the conductor of the American Boy Choir, John Kuzma. We met uh, at the Crystal Cathedral. I guess it wasn't the Crystal Cathedral then. It was the Garden Grove Community Church about four years ago, where John was the conductor of the boys' choir there and also the concert organist on the staff. How long have you been with the American Boy Choir? Uh, this is my first season. I, I began in August of uh, 1982, and uh, uh, we're, in, uh, uh, we're in the middle of our first season. I've probably given about 40 concerts with them so Oh, my far. goodness, that's a lot. And you're based in Princeton, New Jersey. Yes, we are. Our home is in Princeton, and the uh, former estate of uh, Gerard B. Lambert, who is the founder of Listerine, and uh, the estate now belongs to the American Boy Choir. And it's, an, it's a nice old house, uh, and it's a nice setting for the boy choir. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the boys' choir and the school and just how it's arranged and set up sure. for the boys? We have the only non-sectarian uh, boarding school for a boy choir in America. We have boys from 13 states, 55 boys. They range in age from 9 to 14. We have grade from grade 3 to grade 8. And the boys uh, pursue a, a, an academic curriculum uh, with a very high academic expectation and practice music three hours a day in choir, plus music theory, piano lessons, and so forth outside the regular curriculum. So the day is structured with an, an early rise, and uh, it's a boarding school. What time uh, is the rise? Uh, 6.20 in the morning. So you start rehearsing early in the we morning? We start a rehearsal. Uh, they see me at 7.30. They see me for the first time then. And then their academic day begins. Uh, it lasts until 1.15 or so. And then they have um, phys ed until 2.30. 2.30 is showers. And a nap begins at 3. They rest from 3 until 4. And then they have hot tea and cookies. And then they see me from 4.15 till 6.30. Again, for another rehearsal. For two, two hours and 15 minutes of rehearsal, yes. And then uh, a study hall. Oh, his dinner at 6.30, and then study hall is from 7.15 till 8.30, and from 8.30 till 9 is free time. And they, that sounds they, about like the only free time they have during the day. Yes, is that right? The, well, except for their break and their refreshment break in the morning and their afternoon refreshment break, yes, that's, the, that's their only time. What are you going to sing for us now? S some of the most beautiful music from the, uh, that, that we sing and, or that boy choirs sing comes from England. Uh, there, and there is a wonderful boy choir tradition in England that's kind of mm -hmm. special. Uh, there's a special feeling surrounding the use of the boy's voice, and we're going to sing a piece from, them, uh, from, uh, from England from a modern composer named David Lord. It's a, it's a new piece, but it sets an old text. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it starts off with Jesu, which is the old English uh, oh, uh, uh, name mm -hmm. for, uh, for Jesus. That says, uh, Jesu, thy perfect love close in my breast, that I thee love and never, never rest, and make me love thee of all things best, and wound my heart in thy love free, that I may reign in joy evermore with thee.
Before we hear again from the American Boy Choir, I would like to play for you on the beautiful string stops of the organ, Evening Prayer from the Operetta Hansel and Gretel by Humperdinck. Well, John, I want to thank you very much for being on the Joy Music yeah. and in the American Boy Choir. Yeah. It's a wonderful sound, and I think you're doing a fabulous job. That's, that means a lot coming from you because I think uh, you're one of the best uh, organists that there is. And oh, it's been uh, wonderful for us to work with you. I've always admired your, your skill, and uh, you've, uh, you've all been wonderful to oh, us here. Thank you. hope we can come back. What are you going to sing for us now? We're going to sing a, uh, some patriotic songs for you. Uh, they're from uh, the patriotic section of our program. Uh, we hope to do a patriotic recording sometime soon. Uh, we'll sing, first of all, Oh Beautiful for Spacious Skies, and then uh, with uh, your help, if you'll join I'd us, love the, to. Uh, the Battle Hymn of the Republic.
thank you for joining us today on the joy of music you have been listening to the voices of the american boy choir under the direction of john kuzma psalm 150 tells us praise ye the lord let everything that hath breath praise the lord and that is what the joy of music is all about singing and praising god for what he has done in our lives Thank you again for joining us, and we'll see you next week.